Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Her events at all the restaurants and get a medal each time, preferably gold coloured. This time around I'm going to go do the one available shift at UEIF, which is shift number 9, which if I can move the cursor correctly, which has steaks, bean sandwiches or bean patties or bean burgers, kebabs, beef wellington, banana foster and escargot with kale, black rice and cauliflower as the sides, red and white wine as the drink, 75% buzz and 10 serving stations. Now, I haven't actually played this game for about six weeks because I've been busy with life and other things. But I'm running out of episodes to upload, even though you probably won't notice a anything in the way stuff is uploaded because I should have just enough to get to this one but just means I am out of practice so we'll see how it goes apparently I was quite good at UEIEV last time I was here having got nine no eight eight gold medals up to this point because this is shift number nine duh I can't read that proves how out of practice I am. I couldn't even tell how many shifts I'd done. I'd like to get another gold medal by having a perfect day. However, I've got to remember what the keys are first. That, that would help. Yeah, okay, some bean patties. Okay. I'm a fighting chance right now. There we go, I say that. At this point, everybody's got a fighting chance. Some wine. Well, one is a porterhouse steak. Okay. Still keeping up, just about. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Who knows how that's going to work out? Well, I've got a pretty good idea now. It decided to dump all the chores on me. Avocado, avocado, okay, I've got a rush hour coming up, haven't I? I might as well in that case. Make sure I've got plenty of sides. Pepper, chicken. That I think was right. That is my sprouts, onions, lettuce, and a top bun. So I was out of practice and I wasn't particularly wrong. Ah, uh, number five is next. Oh, great. My beef patty's expired just as I was about to use one. Disappearing on me. Ten. Patty avocado lettuce and a topper. Number two is a chore. Number seven is now a chore. 
Water pepper and two veggies. Two squash, two sausage. Number eight is that. Number nine is done. Sprouts avocado on the top bun. Number three is done. Green avocado lettuce on the top bun. Green avocado lettuce on the top bun. Best car go on the go. I survived that rush hour. Maybe things will calm down a bit now. Maybe they won't. Keys for that beef Wellington. I'll be disappointed if I didn't. Oh, 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 okay. oh, okay. I wasn't aiming for that key, but I hit it anyway. Number five. Good, a New York strip steak, and that's everything cooking. <laughs> Yeehaw! 81 perfect combos and a nice perfect day. And uh, most importantly, my gold medal. Okay, I apparently unlocked a slice of tomato. Art foods earning 324 silver medals, a decorative fountain, and that's it. That was shift number nine at UEIEV, as I call it. I've got six more shifts to go there that are not currently unlocked. In theory, they don't look too bad, but doesn't mean I'm not going to struggle. So let's go read the one email. Memo from the CEO. Inspirational quotes. Hello, underlings. It has come to my attention that some of you have taken, taken to posting so-called inspirational quotes in your cubicles to keep you motivated. Let me be absolutely clear about this. Such decorations are not allowed in, the work, in this workplace. You shouldn't need a quote to inspire you to work. You should work because I tell you to. Now, 
I can foresee this being an unpopular decision, and so to help curb any resentment towards me or the workplace as a whole, I will compromise just this once and allow anyone to post this single quote exactly as written, anywhere they please. Do your best in all things, for tomorrow you may not be around to do them. Robert Overling Brenda, I am hereby appointing you to stay late and catalogue all violations of, the, of this rule at the end of the day to report back to me tomorrow for an event of public shaming. Respectfully yours, Robert Overling, CEO. Yes. I've actually worked for CEOs who are far worse than that. Well, at least in that one particular circumstance. And in other news, as I record this, the developer of Cook Serve Delicious 2 has announced Cook Serve Delicious 3 which appears to be doing cooking in vans and having gun battles with other vans as you try and cook in your mobile food palace. It's due to be released to early access on Steam in January 2020, I believe. There is a Steam page for it and there's various announcements on Twitter and various PC or gaming magazines. So if you haven't already checked it out, I would highly recommend that you do because it's Cook Serve Delicious, the third version. So any version of Cook Serve Delicious should be good. Okay, with that said, I will now shut up and I will go away at celebrating after a six week break of getting a gold medal. As always, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Cook Serve Delicious Chef for Hire events in the future. Cheerio!